Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Star Star Star. So this is a general reading. This is about what the Divine Masculine is feeling about the Divine Feminine and vice versa. So uh, this is a general reading. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Uh, energy should be vice versa. Time is fluid. Okay, so... Also, if you like this reading, if this reading resonates, please hit like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below. I'm shuffling the cards right now. So, it's, please tell me what the Divine Masculine is feeling about the Divine Feminine. Spirits, please tell me what the Divine Masculine is feeling about the Divine Feminine. What the Divine Masculine is feeling about the Divine Feminine. You are the star. Okay. That's what I heard. He's looking at the stars and then you're, he's thinking. Like, you're a star in my life. You're just everything that I was looking out for. You fulfill me. You complete me. I'm nothing without you. Where are you? I may need you. That's what I'm hearing. That's what the Divine Masculine is thinking. What the Divine Masculine is thinking about the Divine Feminine. What the Divine Masculine is thinking. Exactly. Six of Cups. He wants... There, there has to be a balance. There has to be an equal give and take. He wants things uh, to be passionate. He wants uh, a passionate start between both of you. And uh, uh, what I think is, I guess the Divine Masculines are thinking about you, especially before going to the bed. They are thinking about, they are fantasizing you. They want a passionate start. <clears throat> They are like regretting uh, for their behavior towards you. Yes, there is a sorrow in their mind. Uh, they think like, why did I behave like this with my divine masculine? Whatever happened between us was not good. Okay, and uh, the divine masculine wants to rectify the situation. Okay, he probably he is thinking of gifting you something. He is thinking to take you out on a date. Okay. Uh, he regrets whatever happened in the past between both of you. He regrets that. And he thinks that becoming intimate, becoming physical will help both of you heal from the past uh, trauma, from the past wounds that the Divine Masculine has caused the Divine Feminine. Okay, what the Divine Masculine is thinking about the Divine Feminine, what the Divine Masculine is thinking about the Divine Feminine, what the Divine Masculine is thinking about the Divine Feminine. I guess you people are dealing with uh, air sign, fire sign or water sign. Most likely I see an air sign, Libra, Gemini and Aquarius or water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. The Divine Muslim thinks of giving you, coming towards you and giving you a long-term commitment. He's going to say that, uh, like, I see, I see my future with you, okay? Or this person, the Divine Muslim is going to approach someone uh, and this someone is a person of authority, a very senior person. He's going to go to that senior person and he's going to seek some kind of advice, okay? about this relationship uh, most likely i see that the divine husband wants to give a long-term commitment long-term commitment to you what the divine masculine is feeling about the divine feminine what the divine masculine is feeling about the divine feminine five of wands the divine masculine is ready to fight off with people who are trying to influence him uh, the divine masculine is ready to fight off with people who uh, who are trying to stop him from coming towards you okay he's ready to fight with people for you 
Yes, for you. What the divine masculine is feeling about the divine feminine? What the divine masculine is feeling about the divine feminine? What the divine masculine is feeling about the divine feminine? What the divine masculine is feeling for the divine feminine? What the divine masculine is feeling? He feels that you are an empress and you are in your power right now. Okay, you are in your power, you are extremely abundant and you don't need anyone to complete yourself. You, he, the Divine Masculine feels that you are enough for yourself. You are happy with your own company, you are happy living your own life, you are happy in your singlehood. Okay, and you are a kind of person who everyone wants in their life. Okay, and Divine Masculine has realized his biggest mistake in you know breaking away from you or treating you in a manner which forced you divine feminines to break away from the divine masculine okay and uh, he knows that he, you are in, you are in your power right now divine divine feminines okay he knows that and he knows that uh, coming back to you is going to be tough it may happen the if he comes back to you the divine feminines might accept him back or they may not accept him back okay uh, but i see an overall there is a sense of admiration okay this person is sitting watching you from far and this person is admiring you a lot okay with ten of wands this person wants to drop all his burden he is feeling very heavy in his mind because he has not expressed what he's feeling for you so he wants to come ahead and he wants to express what he is feeling for you. He's feeling, he is having that sense of burden in his mind and he's keeping that since a very long time in his mind. Okay, that oh, what are his true feelings for you? He is keeping that for a very long time in his mind and he has not expressed you so far. Okay, so he wants to come ahead and he wants to express his true feelings for you. Whatever may be the outcome, but he, but he wants to, uh, he wants to break that ice okay he wants to express what he truly feels what the divine masculine feels for the divine feminine what the divine masculine feels for the divine feminine what the divine masculine feels for the divine feminine this person this person is watching you from far okay this person is stalking you your divine masculine is stalking you your divine masculine is stalking you okay what the divine masculine is feeling for the divine feminine, what the divine masculine is feeling for the divine feminine, what is the outcome between both of them? 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 What is the outcome between the divine masculine and the divine feminine? What is the outcome between the, the divine masculine and the divine feminine? Wheel of fortune. Okay. So things are going to change and things are going to go in a positive manner that is for sure and uh, i see that this person is coming back to you this person is making an offer and uh, overall i see that there is a tremendous amount of admiration that is going on for you divine feminines okay this person is like stalking you keeping tabs on you on your every single move every single action like and he he is he is watching you grow in your own power okay and he is really admiring that fact about you that you're growing and you don't need anyone to grow right so this person is admiring you from far he thinks that you're very pure soul you are a pure uh, uh, purest form of love okay uh, he, that he has never experienced purest form of love pure love that he has never experienced he or a pure a pure soul that he has never seen okay he thinks that you are you you need to be protected that's what he thinks you need to be protected you need to be taken care of okay and he has realized what a big mistake he has done so far okay and uh, that's what he's going to say now he's like what i see is this is an entire fence. These are like the bodyguards who are trying to protect this lady. Okay, this lady is you, Divine Feminines. 
and he's realized that he needs to protect you because you're a pure soul okay you the love that you want to share with others is the purest form of love that's what he thinks about you i told you right this person is admiring you a lot this person is really really admiring you a lot i told you he thinks you as a star okay you are a star in his life you're a star to others you are just everything that's what he thinks all right so this was your reading divine masculine and divine feminine uh, if this resonates please hit like share and subscribe and comment down below thank you bye